Alright, so this video is about gain adjustment of D to A curve, D to A card. This is 0 for DA, this is to analog. Earlier we have seen that gain adjustment in A to D, now it's about D to A, alright? That is this is to analog, PP04 DA, which is connected to my PAC. Alright. So the basic curve of this D to A is this one. As you already know that at zero, we'll be getting the zero volt. If we give 2000 to a data register, it will give you a 5 volt, and at 4000, it will give you 10 volt. So its resolution is uh, 12 bit, 13 bit. It's half to what we have in analog potentially, all right? So it says that the resolution is 2.5 millivolts. At one bit, we will be getting 2.5 millivolts in this one, all right? So now, this curve, we already know that. Now let's see the gain adjustment we can do in this curve. As similar to my A to D, here what we want is, at 4000, we want 5 volt. At 2000, we want 2.5 volt, and here it's 0 volt as well. So now the range, we are reducing the range. Earlier at 4000 we were getting 10 volts. Now suppose if your output is actuating between 0 to 5, if you have an actuator, analog actuator which works at 0 to 5, you can use the full digital range to, to control that. For that, how to do that? Again, the thing is all about the gain. Here we have to reduce the gain. Now gain says that gain is a setting range of voltage output when digital input is 2000. Alright? So this is the digital input. So it is asking the range of voltage we require at when digital input is 2000. So here we what we require, if for, if at 4000 we require 5 volts, at 2000 we require 2.5 volts. So if you multiply this 2.5 with this 400, because 400 is the bits we get at 1 volt, we get 1000. Alright? So if you are confused about what is this 400 and what is what was the 800 in A to D earlier, this 800 in A to D, this is the bits, number of bits we get in a normal linear curve at 1 volt. At 1 volt, we are getting 800 here. So that's why in A to D, we have put 800. So in D to A, in 1 volt, we get 400 bits. So we have to multiply this voltage with that standard constant of 400, right? So we are getting gain 1000 here. So let's check this one. This is again a basic software. I'm going to card 1 this time because this is attached next to my A to D. This is D to A. I'm going to set up. Output mode settings, right register, M1000. Micro list, then channel 1 output value, which is going to my drive. So we're going to see the actuation in the drive. Here, here we have to write M1000. And here, let it be K0. We'll change this by a data register later. Then offset value of channel 1. We don't have any offset here. We have a gain here. So gain is all 1000. 1000 after this, okay. So that the list last level is gain here. Now this graph says at 0 we will be getting the 0 volt, at 4000 we will be getting the 5 volt. Here. So let me just write this a value here. If you want to see the curve as well, let me just just the windows for you. I hope you can see that now. Now you have seen that at 2000 it has given me 2.5 volts, which in drive is equal to 12.5 volts, which, which you can see in the drive. It's 12.6, just minor adjustment is required. So fine tuning is required, otherwise, it's exactly 2.5 uh, volts. Now, if I give 2000, 4000, it should give me 5 volts which in drive will be reflected by 25 volts, as you can see on the drive. So that's how we have reduced the gain. Uh, we have reduced the gain, thereby we have got get this curve set, this flexible curve. So proportionally, if I have 3000, it will give me value between 18.75 volts. All right? So that was about basic D2A curve. Now let's take one more exercise. 
we want such kind of settings. Like at 2.5 volts, that should start with zero and it should end with five volts. We want curve like this. For instance, in case we have some output which needs to be regulated between 2.5 to 5 volts by initial variation of 0 to 4000. In that case, what we have to do, we have to do the offset, just like we have done in E2D. So in this case, offset is 2.5 into 400, that's similar, which accounts to 2000. And gain is by 3.75 because this is the setting at which we require K2000. Uh, we require K2000 between the range of 2.5 to 5, which is 3.75. That is middle range, midpoint of 2.5 to 5, right, at the midpoint. Here we require 2000. So this is 3.75 multiple of 400, which is 1500. So let's put this value to get this curve. Gain 1500, offset 2000. Let me just go back. This was the gain. Let's put the gain 1500. And now the offset 2000. Let's go the first one. Yeah, that's 2000. I'm going to display and then set up. Sorry, it was due to the set up. That's the value. I'll do this too. And then I'll do this too. Correct. I'll do this. Okay. Okay. All right, so now this is zero. Let's see this diagram. Okay, now I'm going to change the value. It's zero and my output should be 2.5 volts. It's just not going to change the connections. Okay, so it's 300. Well, I have made a little mistake here. This multiple, multiple of 4.5 and 400 is 1000, or 2000 by mistake. So here I have to enter 1000. Now, in this case, my value, this value is 0, and my output is 2.5 volts, which accounts to 2.5 volts reflecting in the drive. Alright? So now let's change the value accordingly. Now, the present value, if I enter 2000, it will come. 3.75 volt, which is 18.75 volts. That is on the right, right? If I put 4000, that equals to 5 volt, which is 25.2 volts. You can see the drive is changing the values to you. And you can you can also change this value from your uh, from your touch screen, from your HMI. You take this D0 on your HMI, and you can change the value by numeric entry. You can do that. That can you know add some more flexibility in your program. So that is the curve we have defined here. So I repeat again. Gain is exactly the value range of output voltage when digital input value is 2000. Okay, so when your value is exactly half at where what is the voltage you require, you just have to multiply this voltage with some constant which is actually the bits at one volt. Right, if you have this basic curve in one volt, the bits is 400 here, so that 400 becomes a constant which you need to multiply considering this formula. Okay, so that was about. D2A gain settings, curve settings. So if you have any query, you can put a post below and um, put a comment below this video. We can talk about that. So I'm also going to upload this presentation in the course where you can download from that. Right? So that was all about analog signal processing in PLC and locals. And with that, you can make customized curves for your analog signals processing signals. And you can also generate customized curve. Right? With one way you can read that, you can process some customized curve in this whole range of digital. And the other is D2A in which you can create a customized curve using your full digital range. That was all about D2D and not signal processing. Thank you.